Mathematics is the language with which God has created the universe. Galileo Galilei. Uh, hello everyone, welcome to Digital Lesson for Students by Department of School Education, Nagaland. I am T. Pungri, MSc in Phil Mathematics from Siri King Higher Secondary School, Jatsama, Kohima. First of all, my heartiest welcome to each and every one of class 11 science students to the world of science. Uh, without mathematics, science is incomplete. With the knowledge of mathematics, we can learn physics, chemistry and other subjects much better. Let's hope these video sessions will inspire you to learn a good mathematics. Let's begin with the class here. In this session, we are going to start with sets, which is chapter one in your textbook. Uh, everything in the universe is called an object, right? Some collection of objects. And what is a set is a well-defined, a well-defined, collection of objects see every day we come across some collections like collection of books collection of toys collection of musics uh, collection of writers see so on so but here i mentioned well defined by the word well defined we mean that we can definitely find out whether a given object belong to that collection or not See, example, collection of all boys, collection of all boys in class 11. Here, we cannot include a girl, isn't it? So, only we can collect the relevant objects. So, that is well defined. It says that whether that given object belongs to the, this collection or not. Okay. So, let, let me give you some more examples collection of districts in Nagaland. It's a set, right? Okay. The collection of vowels, the English alphabet. Also, it gives us the unique answer, right? See, if I ask, uh, tell me the vowels in the English alphabet to Indians or Japanese or Americans or Africans, they will all give you the unique answer, right? If we get the unique answer, that is a set. If not, it is not, it is just a collection. It is not a set. Okay, and also the collection of, the collection of the famous, Singers in Nagaland. The collection of the collection of the tall boys or tall trees in Kohima. These two do not represent a set because the famous singers, the tall trees, it may vary from person to person. It gives us a vague meaning. Therefore, it is not a set, it is just a collection. Hope you understand what is a set now. Okay. Now, every object in the collection is, we can call, it, call them as members or elements. Every object in the collection, in the set, we call it, them as members or elements. Let me take this example, the collection of vowels in the English alphabet. We can denote this set by the capital letters from A to Z. We can use any capital letters. So the set, the capital letters will denote the whole collection, the whole set, but the members. So what are the members here? A, E, I, O, U. This A, E, I, O, U are called members of this set A. All right, okay. Here, E is a member in the set A and O is a member in the set A. U is a member in the set A. So in short, we can write E belongs to A. 
This symbol denotes belongs to. E belongs to A. O belongs to A. U belongs to A. Okay. Now K. It is not in the set, right? So we can write like this. K does not belong to A. S does not belong to A. Right? You have seen this symbol in the uh, computers. This is known as epsilon, but we here we call them, uh, we call it as belongs to. E belongs to A. Here does not belongs to A. Okay. In mathematics, particularly in mathematics, we come across a uh, few sets which is very popular. We will be using uh, throughout this text. They are N. Hope you know. The N represent the set of all natural numbers. The set of all natural numbers. Okay. Then W. This is the set of all whole numbers. Then Z or Z. Z or Z. This represents the set of all integers integers and z plus this is the set of all positive integers positive integers okay another one q q represent the set of all rational numbers rational numbers then q plus that is the set of all positive rational numbers and R R for the set of all real numbers and R plus this represent the set of all positive real numbers okay and we have T also capital T this represents the set of all in irrational numbers. Irrational numbers. Hope you studied in class 9. Irrational numbers. Natural numbers, you know, the counting, which is used for counting, right? Starting from 1, 2, 3, etc. And the whole numbers, starting from 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. And integers, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. Right? And uh, positive integers, we will take only the positive numbers, 3, etc. Then rational numbers, the numbers which can be written in the form P by Q are called rational numbers, right? Okay. And positive rational numbers, only we take the positive numbers, positive rational numbers. And real numbers, you studied in your lower classes, this includes everything. Right? Natural number, whole number, integers, positive, rational numbers, everything and also the irrational numbers will be included in the real numbers. And R plus, it represents only the positive real numbers. Okay. So please remember these symbols, we will be using it often. Next one, we will see representation of a set. Representation of a set. We have two representations. The first one is roster or tabular, tabular form. The second one is set builder form. Set builder form. The first one is roster or tabular form. The second one is set builder form. Roster form. In this form, the elements are listed within the braces. Within the braces and separated by commas 
separated by commas. See, for example, if we think about the set of all uh, prime numbers less than 10. So here we represent, we will name it as A, the set A is equal to within this curly brackets. Okay. So what are the uh, prime numbers less than 10? 2, 3, 5, 7. See, we represent the elements within the braces and commas in between. Okay. This is the roster form or tabular form. So A equal to 2, 3, 5, 7. Suppose if we have the set of all even numbers, even natural numbers, then how do we represent? 2, 4, 6, you can write 3 numbers, it is infinite, so we can write just few numbers and then followed by dots, okay, it represents, it is, uh, it is not ended here, it's still we are having some more numbers, so 2, 4, 6, etc, we can represent like this, and in the roster form or tabular form, we have to take note of two things, one is the order, Order is immaterial. Order is immaterial. That means no matter in which order we are writing the elements. The same uh, set we can write it as 3, 5, 2, 7 also. See, I have changed the order. But still these two are equal. These, are, these two are same sets. Okay. So the order is immaterial. And the other one is no identity identical elements okay no identical elements we will not entertain any identical elements the elements are distinct for example b is the b is the set of all letters in the word mathematics okay so b is the set of all letters in the word mathematics so how do we write this one m comma a comma t comma h e see m it's coming again but we have already written so we don't need to write again and a also written already so leave it and then T, T is already there. Then we will go to I, I, C and S. Okay. Even if you write that M, A, T also, the repeated ones, but we won't count it. Okay. Only we will count once. The distinct elements only will be counted. So B is equal to M, A, T, H, E, I, C, S. These are the set of all letters in the word mathematics. These two points you have to remember. Okay, the next representation is set builder form. Set builder form. The same set, see, I'm going to write like this. A is the set of all x such that x is a prime number less than 10 see the a is a set of all x such that x is a prime number less than 10 and b is the set of all y here i will take different letter y then y is an even natural number Okay, see this representation is very useful when we have a big set. See here, up to some extent, we can write all the elements in the bracket, isn't it? But here, if you have even thousand elements or one lakh elements also, we can write it simply in such, in a property. See, how do you read this? A is the set of all x. Please listen carefully. A is the set of all x such that here I have given colon in some textbooks they use the vertical bar also you can use that no problem so a is the set of all x such that x is a prime number less than 10 say x y z you can use any small letters here and followed by a colon or vertical bar and then followed by the property this is the property 
which is satisfied by all the elements in the set not satisfied by the other element by the elements outside the set so you cannot find out any single element outside this set satisfying this property it will be all included here in this set so in such a way we have to write the property okay so this one how do you read b is the set of all y such that y is an even natural number we did not exclude any single uh, even natural number outside this set so this is very useful uh, well, this one it is useful for only the smaller sets but here it is useful for to, to write the bigger sets okay please uh, take note of this one and learn properly okay then I'll uh, tell you some more examples in your exercise problems okay here, here one question one two three four five six isn't it this is question number two in your exercise Okay, 5 dash A. That is whether we have to put it belongs to or not belongs to. And then 8 dash A. See, 5 is an element in this set A. Therefore, we put belongs to. And 8 is not an element in the set A. Therefore, we put doesn't belong to. Alright, okay. And some more questions uh, here to write in the set builder form and to write in the uh, roster form. Hope you can do it now with this little bit of knowledge. In the next uh, session, we will be seeing the uh, types of sets. Okay. So here, uh, in this session, we have learned what is a set. What is a set? A set is a well-defined collection of objects. This well-defined uh, describes us whether the given object belongs to that set or not. We can definitely find out. And it should not give us a vague meaning. In short, you can remember that the adjective words, if the adjective words are there in the collection, then you can say that it is not a set. It is just a collection. Okay. And there are two representations of set. First one is roster or tabular form. The other one is set builder form. This is very useful for uh, to write the small uh, sets. And this is useful for to, to write the bigger sets. And you don't uh, forget that those symbols, the special symbols which we use particularly in mathematics, N, Z, Q, R, all those. Okay. Thank you.